Welcome back to Underwater Math. I'm Super Sasha and we are going to work on simplifying numerical expressions with decimals. When simplifying expressions, you must use the order of operations, which is a specific order to solve math problems. First is parentheses. Next is exponents. Then, we have multiplication and division, which happen at the same time from left to right. Finally, we have addition and subtraction, which also happen at the same time from left to right. We use a handy acronym to help us remember this order called PEMDAS by taking the first letter of each word in the order of operations. PEMDAS. I went to the store and bought two apples for $1.50 each. I stopped to get some popcorn for $4 and paid using a $10 bill. I can figure out my change using this expression. It shows my $10 bill I used to pay for my items, the two apples for $1.50 each and the popcorn for $4. Let's simplify this expression using PEMDAS. First is parentheses. This problem has an outer set of parentheses called brackets and inner parentheses. Once you enter a set of brackets or parentheses, the order of operations starts over. Within our brackets, we have parentheses, so we start there. 2 times 150 is 3. We can write our next line replacing 2 times 150 with a 3. Inside our brackets we now have 3 plus 4, which is 7. We can show this in our next line. Since there is just one digit in the parentheses, we can get rid of the symbols. We are now done with parentheses, and do not have exponents, multiplication or division, so we can move on to addition and subtraction. We are left with 10 minus 7, which is 3. This expression simplifies to 3. This is my friend Henry. He's a super math student and is going to help with our next problem. What's up super kids? Let's try out this problem. You might be thinking, Henry this problem has parentheses and brackets and decimals, and I don't even know where to start with a problem like this. Take a breath. This problem is the same as the other problems we have solved together, and we have pammed us to help us out. You are right that this problem has three sets of parentheses, but some of those parentheses are in brackets. So we start there. 4 times 1.25 is 5 which I will replace in our next line. 3 times 0 0.10 is 0 0.30, so I can replace that part with 0 0.30. I am keeping the rest of my line the same. Even though we have another set of parentheses, I am going to finish my work inside the brackets first. Next in PEMDAS is exponents. We don't have any exponents inside of the brackets, nor do we have multiplication or division. We do have addition and subtraction. 5 plus 0 0.30 is 5.30, and 5.30 minus 1.50 is 3.80. We are ready to write our next line, replacing our brackets with 3.80. Now that we have finished that set of brackets, we continue to the next set of parentheses. Here, we have 2.50 minus 1.00, which is 1.50. I can replace this in the next line. Since there is nothing left to solve within the parentheses, we can continue to work our way through PEMDAS. We do not have exponents, but we do have multiplication. Remember, a number directly next to a set of parentheses means multiplication. 3 times 1.50 is 4.50. In my next line, I am replacing 3 times 1.50 with 4.50. Finally, we can move to addition and subtraction. 3.80 plus 4.50 is 8.30. This expression simplifies down to 8.30. Great job. I think you are ready to practice on your own. Have fun.